Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of All Up in the Business. I'm Kimon and this is Joel. And today we have two special guests with us, uh, Kivon and Kamari Chisholm. Um, they are the founders, They're, they lead Black Wall Streeter, and we're gonna find out so much more about that. But you know, on this YouTube channel, we share about teens in business and how parents can help and support them, teens and students. And so today, uh, we really want to share with you this interview because uh, this will help you with investments and what to do with all that money you're gonna make in your business. So uh, without any further ado, I would hand it over to Joelle so that she can get us going. So the first question we would like to know is, can you define the word investments for our teens? Wanna answer? Okay. So investing is when you, um, like you give money into a product or something. So like you're investing your money into something like that you're investing your money into something that you think that, that will do well or that will exceed. And so you can invest money and then so you can get more money. Okay, for example, HF. Like, so like you'll invest your money into like Nike and then you'll invest your money into Nike because you think that my, Nike will do well and it'll go up so that you'll make more money. Okay, cool, cool. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you for telling us what investments are because a lot of us uh, buy Nike um, products, but we don't buy any Nike stocks that can help us, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So basically, let me just add a little bit with that. So he's just, Kamari, just saying, like you said, an investment, there are many different types of investment securities, stocks, uh, ETFs, mutual funds, and they're like you're buying stocks into a or shares, you're purchasing shares in a company like Nike, Timberland, McDonald's, Wendy's, and Kamari himself actually own one stock and one ETF. You want to tell them about the stock? So the stock I own is um, Zoomies, and Zoomies is like a um, clothes company, and um, I got Zoomies because I saw, I read the news reports, and I saw that it was trending up. And the ETF I own is, um, no, the ETF I own. So Fidelity. Yeah, so it owns different um, stocks. It owns like Amazon, a little bit of Amazon, a little bit of Walmart. And I thought it would be good because those are major companies and all put together in one ETF. So I thought that that would be um, good to invest money into. Okay. Well, help us, me especially. What, is the word, what does ETF stand for? ETF stands for Exchange Trading Fund. Got it. Okay. Got it. Okay. So an ETF in essence is like, so as Kamari said, it's just an acronym for Exchange Traded Fund. And it's, and ETFs are geared specifically toward a specific industry. So Kamari's, um, he, you want to tell him why you bought this ETF? Because mm -hmm. you wanted to buy Amazon and you couldn't afford it? Yeah. So um, originally I wanted to buy Amazon, but um, Amazon's a big company and it costs way too much money. So I didn't, um, I couldn't afford it. But since I bought the CTF that owned parts of Amazon, then I was still getting a little bit of Amazon, even though I wasn't owning the stock. I was owning an ETF that owned stock in um, Amazon. Gotcha. So they basically, they, their collection, they, ETFs invest in different type of companies that as that like Amazon, his owns Amazon, um, Home Depot, um, AT&T. So it owns a, diff a variety of different com companies that allows you to buy that affordable price. Gotcha. Okay, we're learning, we're learning. How did you come up with the idea for the investment clubs for students? Well, um, so we first started off last year, um, we are a part of a family investment club and um, we have been able to amass over three hundred thousand dollars in 16 years so we wanted to give others that opportunity now we don't have that now because our club takes out money and some clubs don't do that they save the money but um and so we found i found that parents were not really that motivated to start investment clubs so we thought we'd just start trying to get kids, go to the kids. The kids need it, the youth need it. Um, um, if we can get them involved in investment clubs and make it a fun activity, 
um, then uh, then that would probably ha get give us more of an opportunity to um, break that wealth gap that we're currently experiencing now. Yeah, I mean, what? Not? So it's at schools. Like, is it like only high schools? Is it middle schools? What kind of schools are the investment clubs are at? So right now we're trying to. Uh, we are only in one school. Okay. And, uh, we're trying to get into more schools, and um, we're looking at seventh through twelfth graders. Okay. Uh, since the uh, Black Enterprise article came out, we've had a, a lot of inquiries from as far as West Canada, uh, but nothing. Um, um, nothing has been. Um, solidified in the contract yet so we just got a lot of interest but we're trying to get more into schools now good good okay how long has black wall street been around black wall street has been around since um last august well we got our first um engage we got our first engagement last august but we started it um last june 2019 right yeah 2019 2019 okay 2018 18. 2018 okay. I got you. So you've been around like over a year, over a year, year and a half. Yes. Okay. And um, I guess I just I wanted to figure out. So you guys, you 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 started it, Kivan. And what's your role in it, Kamari? So what I do is um, I'll come to um, certain engagements and I'll speak about um stocks, how to um invest your money into stocks and um how to um, make more money using stocks. And um, I was like, what stocks, certain, I don't talk about a lot of stocks to buy, but um, you just, I try to like, you have to buy stocks that like, you buy a lot of. So like, if you buy a lot of Nike shoes, then you should buy a lot of Nike stock. Mm. Or like, if you buy a lot of Under Armour clothes, then buy Under Armour clothes. But, like, whatever you mostly are buying, then that's what you should um, buy, purchase money in stocks with. Talk about how to teach the stock tracker, how to teach people how to. Yeah, so we created this thing called Stock Tracker, and then I um, teach people how to use Stock Tracker, how to um, track their stocks so that they know, like, if their stock's up or down. And if your stock's, like, consistently down, then that's when you know you, you should sell it and get something else. Because if your stock's consistently down, then you're losing money, but you want to be gaining money. So if you when you check your stocks, if your stock's consistently down, then that's when you know you have to make a change. Okay. Now, Joelle has her own business. Do you think she's, is she old enough to start investing in stocks? Yes. Okay. okay. Joelle, you might need to do that, right? With that money you're making, right? Yeah. yeah. She, she can't invest without you signing off on it, Dad, though. You have okay. to, uh, she needs a custodian. Okay. And that would be you. So she can't do it alone. Yeah. But she can do it with your signature and your consent. Yeah. Okay. Tell us a little about a Tell us a little bit about your background, Mr. Kivan. Uh, so I'm, an, I'm a trademark attorney. I work for the federal government, the United States Patent and Trademark Office. That's my uh, full-time job, and I would love for this to be my uh, permanent job. Um, and I'm also president of Umoja Investment Clubs, mm -hmm. uh, which is our family uh, investment club. Uh, so I have a BA in economics and I have a master's in African-American studies. And uh, as I mentioned, I have a law degree as well. Um, yeah, good, good. Man, I love how you're bringing all your experiences together and there's that passion for helping families. I can hear your families involved in empowering people in financial uh, independence and literacy. And now you're helping other families to do the same. Yeah, that's, that's, that's our goal. Uh, we want to try to help as many people as possible. And that's why Kamari is a part of it. Um, so uh, I wouldn't say he's privileged, but he's pretty fortunate, uh, considering the background that uh, his parents came from. Mm -hmm. And we want to just him to remember, he got to help other people because uh, we need to we need people like him to help others in our community to move forward. So that's why um, he's a part of this business. Okay. Why did you want to get involved, Kamari? Um, well, I wanted to get involved because um, I like making money so I can buy um, like clothes or shoes. And um, my dad told me that if I like if I get involved, then this is the way I can make money. And um, that's why I wanted to get involved. Just when I found out that I can make more money. Listen, you're a man after my own heart, Kamari. 
Like I'm, I'm, that, anybody who says they get involved for any other reason that as a, as a kid that they want to make a little bit of money, I don't think they're telling the truth. That's a good reason to get involved because you want your own money, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. What is the most, what are the most important lessons for kids in the area of investing? Um, probably I think it's to buy stocks that you buy, um, that you buy in real life. Mm. So if you buy a lot of one um, company, then you got to buy stock in that company. Because it doesn't make sense if you like buy a lot of Nike, but then you go and buy stock in Under Armour. Mm. Um, you got to just buy like what you mostly get in real life. And that would good. probably help you. That's good. Good. Any other lessons, Mr. Kivon, that you would add to, add to what he shared? Yeah, I would say patience. Just be patient. Um, and and take risks and you don't necessarily have to use your own money. You can just use paper money and that's what the stock track is all about. Just, which means you're not, you just playing with figures. Like, like, like you say, like you give yourself $5,000 and um, you buy a hundred shares of Nike or even a hundred shares of Amazon and um, just see how the numbers work. See, look at, just become aware, like what makes the market go up that will why will that affect your stock and mm. what makes it go down and see that there is a potential to build wealth through the stock market uh, 90 percent of the african of african-american community is not involved in the stock market wow. but yet 90 percent of the wealthiest people in this country in the world have made their market that have made their wealth by investing in the stock market the wealthiest people bill gates Warren Buffett, all those people, they have Zuckerberg, they've all made their money from the stock market some way, shape, or form. Wow. And it is our goal to try to encourage more people of color to learn about it. We've met so many people that's like they are against the stock market, yet they have a retirement plan. Mm. How can you be against that? That funds your retirement, the stock market, and most people are not aware of that. And we're trying to change that narrative and bring a Kamari along to get kids to start earlier. Yeah. Um, they don't, you know, that, that's what our goal is. So they know when they become adults that this information is not totally new to them. That's good. That's really good. Kamari, how do you balance this work in school? Um, normally I try to stick to a schedule. So like when I come home to school, I'll do my work, like my schoolwork first, get all that done. And um, I also play baseball. So normally I just get my schoolwork done go to baseball practice, and then when I get home, I um, do stock stuff, eat dinner. But mostly I try to stick to a schedule so I'll know what to do. Um, sometimes I don't have any schoolwork, and um, that time I can do my stock first, go to baseball practice, and maybe like play video games later. But most of the time I do my schoolwork first and um, so, I can, so I can get that over with. Yeah. Kamari, you present and you, you're sharing to other students and you're sharing to adults. Do you get nervous? Um, sometimes I get nervous, but most of the time I'm just thinking like that the normal people and like everyone makes mistakes. No one's perfect. And so like normally, like at first when I start, I'm a little nervous, but then towards the end, I normally settle and I'm not that nervous. You're amazing. That's cool. What is your Thank goal you. for Kamari being involved in this venture? Um, as Kamari mentioned, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a baseball player. He plays travel baseball. He's 12 and he plays 14 years, so he's very good. I don't really foresee him taking over the business, and that's fine. But I want him involved because of the aspect of giving back and also learning that he does not have to work for anyone. He can have his own, so he can learn what I'm doing, what we're doing, and learn that someday after he graduated from college, he may want to start his own business. And um, that is my goal. So if he wants to work for somebody else, he can, but he doesn't have to work for anyone. Like I've been working for the federal government for 21 years. Great job, but he can take this experience and say, you know what, Dad? After I graduate from college, I want to start my own business, and we can support him that. We can so, and he would know from this experience that he can do that. Yeah. Um, you mentioned your tracker. Um, 
that you guys have set up, how can people get that? I know Joel's going to ask you about other products, but how can we get that access? Especially you said people, these people can play on it. Like students can go in there and like set up an account and use it and see how the stock market works. Right. Uh, so the, no, so the stock tracker is just, it's a notebook. I, um, I created this notebook and, um, it's a notebook that you can purchase via right? and what it, and I give instructions and it teaches you how to track the stock. So you would need a, a, your computer or your phone to write down the data, but I gotcha. teach you how to do it. Okay. And um, so, yeah, it's just, yeah. So a side note, uh, people, when I told them about the document that I created, the booklet, they didn't want me to do, they was like, well, everyone could do this on the phone, but you can't monitor it on your phone, like take notes and mm. track why your stock is improving or going down. So that's why it's in a book. It's in a, it is a book. Okay. Um, to be used. Okay. How can people get your product and keep in touch with you? Um, they can go to our website, um, blackwallstreeter.com, and um, they could um, see, purchase um, Stock Tracker, and um, it has the um, our information on the website too. Okay. Uh, okay. Can, I know. Yeah, you can reach me. I'm excuse me. Go ahead. Uh, you can always reach me, as Kamari said, at at our website or our email, Kivan at the Black Wall or our phone number is 571 236 1471. Awesome. Awesome. Um, I'm going to put Joel on the spot. Joel, what, what are some things that you buy that you need to get some stock in? Um, I don't really buy stuff on my own. But what would you, what would you be interested in? Amazon for sure. She said Amazon for sure. Is that a good, is that a good investment, Kamari? Yeah. Okay. It, because um, Amazon makes a lot of money. Okay. Uh, and, but starting out, you might not be able to buy it uh, separate, like on its own, but you might have to buy it on an ETF to start out. But later, you might you might be able to buy it on its own. Oh, wow. Any, anything I'm else? Busy. Amazon, what else? What else? I think, I'm, um, is Nike a good one? I'm thinking yeah, about Nike's some Nike. Yeah, Nike's a good one. Okay. All right. Listen, guys, you, our viewers, you got an inside look at the stock market. You got some information on this. Um, and, you know, you can hit up Mr. Kivan and Kamari and ask them your question, just like we did about our stocks as well. Um, we really appreciate you all and the work that you're doing to teach another generation and empower um, African-Americans to understand and be involved in wealth building and just changing uh, the, even the trajectory of your families. That goes in line with what we're doing here to empower teens and children to start their own businesses, helping parents to encourage them. And when they get all that money, they're going to need somewhere to invest it, and they're going to come to you guys. So we appreciate you. Thank you for being on this episode of All Up in the Business. And for those who are watching this, please make sure you share it, that you subscribe to this, and uh, you go follow Black Wall Streeter as well. And again, thank you for watching All Up in the Business. Thank you.